In the shared directory, you and your team can set up a central list of contacts you communicate with across all your projects so that everyone can solve problems faster and you never lose a contact if a team member leaves the company. The first thing you need to do when setting up your directory is to add your company and employees to Ribbit. This is so you can all share the work contacts that have accumulated in everyone's personal phones. In the directory, there are three sections. The People section, which is a list of all of your directory contacts. The Group section, which you can think of as a way to organize distribution lists of people. And the Company section, where you can add your company contacts for subs, vendors, builders, and any other organization with which you engage. The directory is not only a way to centralize work contacts, but it also provides a profile to help you remember details about the individuals, like Hector, at Ralph's Roofing, who only responds to text and is a Spanish speaker. Grouping in the directory also provides a quicker way to kick off communication. In this example, I can tap here to kick off a group email, or here to start a group chat with everyone in my small business network to ask if anyone knows a good office manager. If I choose to kick off a chat instead of an email, anyone not currently on Rivet can respond via text message and is not bothered with all of the other responses from people in that group. Across Rivet, you can also access your shared directory to quickly add groups and companies to tasks, events, projects, and more.